Hi guys, back with another Friday foursome from Chris Novabug, and this time it's top four racing games. Now I've chopped and changed my mind several times during the last few days and I had a short list of about 12 games so it was really really difficult this time choosing four games. Um, I've tried to choose four that uh, a couple of which I hope no one else would probably choose and then a couple that quite a few people I'd imagine would. So uh, I'll do the first two popular ones first which is firstly Micro Machines so on the Mega Drive I've played it on several platforms but the Mega Drive was the one I used to play the most love Micro Machines, the whole, all three of them uh, didn't really play military much but Micro, Micro Machines, Micro Machines 2 and Turbo Tournament 96 Micro Machines 2 probably played the most and, uh, and 2 and 96 have the J-Cart with the extra two controller ports so you can play four player it's a great game um, you pick up and play it's quite quite easy but it, it can be tricky multiplayer and it's always competitive it's always really good fun and uh, can be really frustrating as well just fantastic game and uh, it is it's, it's one of those games that um, when you uh, when you load it up you can have like name your character and recently, uh, I picked. Last time I picked one up, it must have been. I think it was Turbo, Turbo Tournament '96. I picked it up about a year ago. And anyway, a few mates came around to play it, and we load it up, and it brings up the picture of the guy. I think it's Spider. The guy's like the Fonzie guy, and it just says "cunt" underneath as the name. And that just took me back to being a kid straight away when you used to give your characters like rude names and think it was hilarious. Um, but yeah, fantastic game. Uh, second choice would be um, another one that I imagine is very popular. Now this was a toss up between two because I only wanted to put one rally game in. So it was a toss up between Shocks on the PS2 which is a really underrated game. It's fantastic like arcade kind of rally game uh, which I love for those kind of arcade rally games like Sega Rally absolutely adore. Um, but my pick for the rally game is V Rally on the PS1. Spent so much time playing that game. And I think uh, my picks here, the way I narrowed down my list is how much time did I spend. Oh, that's my phone going off. How much time did I spend playing these games and how much enjoyment did I get from these games? So uh, V Rally, yeah, was just fantastic. At the time, it, it's, you know, you think, oh, wow, these graphics are like so realistic. And, and you look at it now and it, it, it's shit, but really good, fun game. Uh, nice depth to it and, and again one that you can pick up and play quite easily but um, it's quite hard to master so yeah huge fan of that game uh, third choice um, would be one that possibly not many people would pick and that is Super Off-Road so Ivan Stewart's uh, St Super Off-Road on the Amiga now uh, I've, I do have it on the arcade cab there I don't have an Amiga version at the moment but um, that game's awesome. I used to play that to death on the Amiga, and it's like you're going around a little track, and you, uh, at the end of each level, you collect money during the level. So at the end of each level, you can buy like nitrous for boosts. You can upgrade your acceleration, your brakes, and your tires, and all that jazz. And it's just fantastic fun. A really good fun multiplayer. Love the music. Love the graphics. It was really, really good graphically for the time uh, as many Amiga games were so yeah just just spent a whole lot of time on that game really really simple game you can't really get any any more simple it's not sorry camera memory was full there so I had to clear some off um, so yeah it wasn't particularly a technical game and it was so simple but really really good fun and I'm not really into simulation type racing games I like simpler arcade games so for that very reason, uh, that's why I love my next pick, and this is the most modern game on the list. And I don't really play games like Gran Turismo or even Forza or or any kind of simulation-y type games. I like really, really arcadey races. So for that reason, this was my favourite racing game of the last generation. Played it a whole lot, 
and that is Blur on the PS3. Now Blur, if you haven't played it, is a racing game where it's realistic cars, like real racing cars, but with kind of Mario Kart-esque power-ups. So you're racing the cars as you would, but you have all sorts of cool power-ups. And it's amazing, it's so much fun. And one of the great aspects of this game is it has local multiplayer, which is essential for a racing game in my opinion. All the best racing games for me have a, lo uh, have a local multiplayer option, say four player split screen, and it just makes for really, really good fun because you've got the people who are really good at the racing aspect of the game and then you've also got the added power-ups and the tactics that that brings so it's fantastic it's a really good fun game you can pick it up really cheap if you haven't played it go and pick it up for the 360 or the ps3 it's made by uh, bizarre creations who are sadly um, no no longer around and they made games like um, Metropolis Street Racer and Project Gotham Racing so you're probably quite familiar with them so they definitely they definitely you know got got a good CV as far as racing games go so you're guaranteed that it's going to be a quality game it is it's absolutely fantastic and uh, so that's my last pick guys so yeah cheers for watching see ya